Hello, Janita. Good evening. Hi, teacher. How are you? Uh, <clears throat> a little tired. Hi, as, ever, but... <laughs> as always. Okay. And where, where do you work, Janita? I work in a, in a law firm. Oh. So, yeah, so I imagine that every day is like the crisis. It, it's very tiring. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. But is, is it close or far from your house? Um, relative closer. It's relatively close. Yeah. Okay. That is that it's good because at least uh, you are not like in the uh, working all day and then in traffic at night. So it's like, it's better yeah. when it's closer to your place. Hello, Mr. Umberto, how yes. are you? Hello, teacher in class, I'm fine and you? I am doing great. Very happy to have you here in another class, in almost the last one, because the last <laughs> ones are just for the exams. Yeah. I uh, today complete the section five six, section five in the platform. In the platform, uh, uh huh. Yeah, only only missing the uh, final exam. Okay, yeah. On Monday, yes. On Monday, we're going to go over the the final evaluations, so you can compare if you haven't finished them. Uh, sorry, no. You, for you to know them if you haven't done them and to compare if you have finished them. Or, and also uh, to check some answers. Maybe you didn't answer something uh, correct. So you can go and correct uh, after that. And the last day, what we are going to do is just to, to wrap up for the last day of classes that it's going to be on Tuesday. I am going to ask you to, to bring a little summary of everything that we learned, right? You're going to tell me a little bit of what we learned on the module. And so each of you is going to have like one minute to explain uh, what you learned from this module, right? The things that you advanced, the things that you didn't know and now you know, uh, the different topics that we studied. So that it's basically what we're going to do on the last day. On Monday, that it's one day before the last one, we are going to check the exam and the platform, right? To see that you have completed everything. So that it's basically what we're going to do on Monday. And on Tuesday, it's your final mini presentation about the module, about what you learn, about the, the things that you take with you, right? It's like, que aprendi, que no sabia y que me llevo. So that's what you are going to be, what, what you are going to be presenting in English for sure. You are going to have the opportunity to have your minute of fame that day. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, remember that all the classes are in the Facebook page. They are in the platform in YouTube. So in any case, if you want to review a topic or something that you remember and say like, hey, we started that with Teacher Nati, then you can go back and, and review that on Facebook or on, on YouTube, on the playlist that you have as well. Or if you want to remember those beautiful moments that we have together, <laughs> you can go back and check the classes. Yeah. Well, hello, Mr. Gerardo, Catherine, hello, Marta, hello, Nubia, Mr. Carlos. Antonio. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. And Ms. Briselda, hello. How good are you? Teacher. Okay, so hey. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. It's good to see you. Yeah, many, many more people are joining. Now Miguel Ramirez is here. So we gave them the five minutes of grace for them to enter. So let's work. Let's work on that. Let me see. I think we're going to go right here. 
Okay. Yes. So, good evening, everybody. We are going to start our class number 14. Today is day number 14. Time really flies. I might imagine it was almost one month since we started this adventure. Okay, so we're going to go here. The agreements of the class, just for you to remember them as much as I uh, mentioned them to you. After the module, and even when you are going to continue the next one, remember, practice your English every single day. Okay, when uh, you wait for the next module to start, I think it's like a week or, or less, right? That you have between modules, practice your English. Practice your English as much as possible. If you don't have the chance to practice with someone, a very good recommendation that I can make, and don't take it in the bad way, you can have a little diary, not to tell the secrets in the diary, like, dear diary, today I saw my crush. No, right? <laughs> You're not going to write secrets on the diary, but it's a very good way to practice to have a notebook on which you write about your day, every day. You say like, today was a very nice day. I had a lot of work. I did this, this, and this in the office. I uh, work on these different activities. I saw my friends. Uh, I don't know, Carlos told me a very nice joke. And you can mention a little bit about your day. And if you write every night, for sure, your writing skills are going to improve. And after you finish writing, you can read it. And you can actually... Uh, go and review a little bit of reading as well. Another uh, strategy that it's very good for you to practice your English and for you not to tell me, teacher, I don't have anybody to talk with. Hmm. On WhatsApp, you can create a group with yourself, right? Create a group with someone and then delete the person. So you have a chat only for you. And on that chat, you can record audios. Talking about anything, talking about the things that you like, your day, something that you have in your mind, your dreams, your goals, whatever thing you want to talk about and record it in voice notes. And then you listen to them to see if you can understand yourself, check them, right? Check on the different voice notes that you create. And that is going to help you a lot for you to start practicing your fluency, your confidence to analyze for mistakes. So that it's a good tip that I can leave you there and for free. Okay, no le voy a cobrar por el tip, por ninguno de los dos. And let me see, for sure, and practice with your friends from time to time. Send voice notes to your friends. Say like, hey, Carlitos, how are you? What are you doing today? Blah, 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 blah. And then you start sending voice notes. The other person has to answer in English, not in Spanish. And if the person answers in Spanish, answer in English back until the other person speaks English with you. Okay, three tips for one dollar. <laughs> so yesterday we were talking about what? Yesterday we talked about the use of ING and going to uh -huh, the use of ING and going to specifically to do what? Present ING. continuous. Present continuous. Uh -huh. and for future activities. Yes. Present continuous for the future activities or future arrangements, right? What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do tonight? What are you doing this weekend? Right. Hey, what are you going to do tomorrow that you don't have classes? What are you doing tomorrow, Friday? Nothing. <laughs> I'm going to, to sleep early. You're going to sleep early. <laughs> hey, <laughs> when you say nothing, oh, I am your only social life. Come on. <laughs> okay. And you say like, no, this is my only human interaction teacher here in the class with my friends <laughs> because I don't see anybody. It happens to me. You are my, my group of friends because, I mean, we don't do anything at, at, that, at this time of the night. So today we are going to work a little bit on uh, how to leave a message on the phone. 
it is pretty curious when you create messages on the phone and how you attend them. Some messages are pretty crazy. Some messages are very uh, important. So that's what we're going to learn today. But first, we had a little homework from yesterday. Aha, whoosh, you know, I, I like oh, the homework, I forgot it. <laughs> I teach it, I, ahorita la busco. <laughs> moving the backpack like pretending that you are looking for the home ah, I forgot the notebook teacher in the house now you cannot use that excuse because you are in your house <laughs> it's like the dog, <laughs> the dog ate my home where you say mm, it's in Canelo no I didn't <laughs> I don't I don't my, eat I don't eat that <laughs> my dog eating the homework yeah and it happens it happens one well one time in my life my cat ate uh, uh, a chart that I was going to take to the university and I didn't see it I had the the cartoline I had the la cartulina right on the table and maybe at night the cat was playing with the with the cardboard right and in the morning I was in such a hurry that I just took the cardboard and I went to the bus when I was in the university and I was about to put it on the on the board, right? Because they say, okay, uh, like Natalie, it's your time to present. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. And I was there and, and when I saw like, the, the cardboard, <laughs> it had a lot of holes. And I was like, oh, sh the God. <laughs> yeah. And I had to, and I had to present like that. I, and I, I told hey, listen, see, I'm very sorry because of these decorations that I have here, but because it had a lot of holes from the teeth of the cat, it was very horrible. But the cat <laughs> actually ate my homework that time, so be careful with your homework. <laughs> so talking about the different um, things that we are going to do according to the calendar, we had the first one that said. On Sunday morning, Anna is visiting Forest Green Historic mm -hmm. Park. Mm -hmm. What is Anna going to do on Monday? Our, our time to finish the report. So you say, Anna, Anna is, is going working, to work over time to finish the report. Very good. You can say, Anna is going to work or Anna is work. working. The two of them are perfect. They are correct. I am uh, going to, to work. Uh, you are I going to. A, I write them. I write, I write them. Oh, that's okay because you made the calendar for you. Yes. That's perfect. No, what no. Uh, uh huh. Continue, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, on Tuesday, what is Anna going to do on Tuesday? On Tuesday, Anna. at 7 p.m., Anna is going to see a play, to see a play, a play with Tony. A play uh -huh. with Tony. Do you use the 7 p.m. at the beginning of the sentence or at the end? I wrote it. Mm. I wrote it on, at the end. I wrote. Okay, it is better. It is better if you specify the time at the end. And if you say, on Tuesday, Anna is going to see a play with Tony at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. Or it, you... It's, uh -huh. Teacher, it's going to say, uh, on Tuesday at night, Anna is saying and playing with Tony. On Tuesday no. night, Anna is seeing a play with Tony. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can, you can say seeing, or you can also say, on Tuesday at 7, mm -hmm. Anna is going to see a play, right? You can also use uh, the time after mm -hmm. the day uh, or, the at the end, the final. or at the yeah. end of the sentence, any of the two. What about okay. Wednesday? On Wednesday night, Anna uh, watching the hockey game with Kate and Sam. Okay, on Wednesday night, Anna um, is watching the hockey game with Kate and Sam or Anna is going to, to watch. Going to Excellent. Watch. Anna is going, going to, to watch. watch the hockey game with Kate. <laughs> Excellent. You can use the two options. What about Thursday? 
On Thursday. On Thursday. Uh, Anna. Oh, nice. On Thursday and Tuesday. Anna is going to, have, going to a have a barbecue, barbecue, barbecue at, 12, at 12 noon. 12. At 12 12 noon. noon. What is the meaning of noon? Mediodía. Mediodía, Medio right? On a, a Thursday, Thursday, Anna is going to have a barbecue at 12 noon. What about Friday? What is she going to do? Anna. Anna is, going, and I'm going, to to is going to stay home and watch the late show on TV. She's going to stay home and watch the late show on TV. And on Saturday? On Saturday uh, afternoon, Anna is going to go to an arts festival. Okay, on Saturday afternoon? Anna is going to go to an arts festival. Okay, so teacher, teacher, yes. a question. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, when when you says when you use the the the, the gonna, uh -huh. I listen the this uh, is change for going to or I don't know uses when you said gonna. Very very good question. You use gonna when you're when you're speaking, and when you want to speak a little bit faster. So like I'm gonna go now. There's no use of going to or it's gonna no. is it like I'm gonna uh, go right now it's because I'm you want to, to you want to say fast uh going to but it is an informal way and it's only mm -hmm. for speaking you don't only use you don't use gonna on writing so you say like I am gonna um, go if you are talking with friends yeah. if you are talking in an informal yeah. conversation on whatsapp or in a chat or something you can say yeah. I'm gonna go but that mm -hmm. is totally informal mm -hmm. Okay, and on a document, for example, you're not going to say, I'm going to get there soon because that would be very. I, I, I watch, I watch it on the lyric music. Uh -huh. um, uh, the writer's gonna. It's so, because, uh, yeah, remember yeah. that on the lyrics, for example, in the types of music, poems, mm -hmm. stories, or books, um, people can use the language the way they want. Yeah. I have I have heard some that, that say she don't. Similar, give me two 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 Exactly. two 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 Right, but um, it's like if you say wanna, I wanna go. Wanna, I, I want to. Yeah, don't say you wanna, okay. I wanna wow. go. <laughs> wanna, wanna. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Be careful not to say I wanna. <laughs> I wanna go, I wanna go. Okay, <laughs> so now based on the example that we have right now, based on the example on the different things that are scheduled, the different activities that are already programmed, I know that you have different situations in your life that you know when they are going to happen, that, yeah, they, are in, that they are in the calendar. So I need you to tell me one sentence about what you are doing in a specific day, these days, but it must be real, right? Or if you don't have anything relevant, calendarized, you can invent something. Right, but you can say, for example, on Tuesday, the teacher is going to have an exam with the students. Oosh, mm. you say. And it's true. <laughs> oh, it's like, huh? What? <laughs> so on Tuesday, I am having an exam with the students. What are you doing these days? Give me one sentence on which you include the form of the grammar that we just studied. And I'm going to go one by one so I don't miss anybody. And the first camera that I have here is Mr. Umberto. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh huh. Tell me about one activity that you are doing these days. Okay. Um... Uh, uh, on this week? Uh, yeah, or this month. Okay. And this week, uh, Monday, um, in, on, on Monday, mm -hmm. <laughs> on Monday, uh, I prepare 
or a weekly report for the different uh, customers and the oh. <laughs> Carlos <laughs> Car Carlos yeah I uh, know Carlos no <laughs> <laughs> I okay, know yeah. <laughs> Um, no, uh, uh, Humberto Jaco and I, uh, we are co worker Oh, in different plans, yeah. yeah. Oh, in that's why. In different bills, but the, mm -hmm. but the same um, company. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, so, Humberto, you say that on Monday, you are going to be preparing the reports for the customers. The report. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. What about Janet? Um, tomorrow, I'm going to go with my husband to the hospital because uh, the doctor is going to put up uh, puntos oh, of uh -huh. surgery. Uh, that is like the uh, stitches. Yeah. Surgery stitches. Yes. Stitches. And the stitches is also puntadas in, in costura, right? Those are stitches. Just, oh, well. Okay. It's similar in, in surgery. Yes, it's the same. Stitches. Good. Thank you very much, Janet, for sharing. What about you, Nubia? What are you doing these days? Uh, on Friday, I'm going to have to deliver my children's exam at the school. Okay, you're going to deliver the children exam at school. Ooh. Oh my God. Okay, good. So you're a teacher. Nubia? Home. Oh, okay. How oh, nice. Excellent. Thank you for sharing. What about Adrian? What are you going to do these days? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, all. Uh, it's in the sería perdón perdón se me trabó la lengua no eh, on Friday I going to to watch TV eh, anima eh, anime at night uh, on on Thursday on, on Thursday ah on Saturday on Saturday I am going to watch TV specifically yeah. anime anime good very good Carlos Antonio yes teacher go ahead what are you doing uh, well on, on Saturday, I'll be waiting for for Stop Stigo for repairing my internet. Oh, <laughs> you will be waiting the whole day. It's bad internet. And, okay. and this moment, in, 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 the, in the screen says, your internet is down. It's down. <laughs> your connection is not stable, is it? No, no, but it's but we, can, but we can listen to you very well and we can see you very clear. Don't worry. Mr. Gerardo, what are you doing these days? Uh, in the morning, I go to my children at the school, and then I have a meeting at 8 p.m. for the new project. Okay, so uh, you are going to take your children to school, and you say, and at 8, I am having a meeting, right? I am having a meeting. Very good. What about Evelyn Mariela? What are you doing these days? On oh. um, Saturday, I'm going to visit my parents in San Miguel. Okay, you're going to visit your parents. Parents. Yeah. How nice. Enjoy your trip. Miguel yes. Ramirez, what are you doing these days? Mr. Miguel. Hi, teacher. What are you doing these days? <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. What are Perfect. you? Uh -huh. What are you doing right now? Um, uh huh. I, I I cannot see. I mean, what are you doing right now? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Uh, I am working, teacher. Ah, I am working right now. So you see, you answered the question. Okay, teacher. Good, <laughs> Catherine Bonilla. What are you doing these days? Ah, sí, aquí estoy cachando a todos los que andan. 
a todos los que andan Catherine. comprando pupusas. Oh. Ah, oh, Catherine, yeah. Yeah. Catherine sí. Bonilla at one, Catherine Bonilla at two. Catherine Bonilla, <laughs> Catherine Bonilla, Catherine Bonilla. Miss Natalie is looking for you in the class. <laughs> Yeah. Yo trabajé en el hospital dando ahí las noticias. A la señora Catherine Bonilla, por favor, pasar a la clase 1. Go ahead. Thank you. Well, she was not here. Eh, Catherine, si ves este video, te subimos llamando. Marta, what are you doing these days? Marta Fontan. Marta Fontan. Hmm, she's buying the pupusas with Catherine. Hi, teacher. Ah, no, she's there. <laughs> You see, that's that's why I, I really need the cameras on to see what you're doing, right? Huh? Because maybe you're there. <laughs> Niña María, ahorita, espéreme, voy a contestar a la teacher. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Go ahead. What are you doing, Marta? What are tomorrow, you doing these days? Okay. Tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to take a walk in the park. You're going to take a walk in the park. Hey, that's cool. Miss Zelda, what are you doing these days? Uh, once a week, um, Thursday, I have a meeting with my with my coworkers and my boss. Okay, so you say on Thursday I have a meeting with my coworkers and my boss. But if you do it with present continuous, say I am going to have a meeting. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Manuel Sanchez. What are you doing these days? No, Mr. Manuel is with Marta. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with Catherine. Hi, Peter. Hello, Manuel. How are you? What are you doing these days? Uh, okay, teacher. This day uh, I'm working tomorrow. Okay. And so you say, then the weekend I'm going to rest. I'm going to rest. Okay. So tomorrow I am working and on the weekend I am going to rest. Good. Yes, Excellent. Ha, ya casi los cachamos en la movida. Linda. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Well, tomorrow I'm going to have finished the payment of the employees um, because 15 will be Sunday. Uh -huh. Okay. If you want to pay some other people, we are here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, only, only pay, only. Uh -huh. pay. Employees. Only the workers, only the employees. Good, very good, Linda. Hey, what a big responsibility, the one that you have. Oh, yes. Boris Rodriguez, what are you doing these days? Okay. On Saturday, I'm going to eat pupusas uh, to the planets. Hey, that's so nice. Yeah. Re remember that we're going to have a trip with Carlos <laughs> to the beach. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Oh. Thank you very much. Uh, Oscar Hernandez, welcome to the class. And we're talking about uh, future plans that you have for these days. So what are you going to do these days? Uh, this day, uh, I thought uh, man management um, business. I thought, uh, in part, yes, yeah, I thought, I uh -huh. thought, I thought uh, uh, one horse. So, más o menos. Oh, uh, around an hour, you say. Around one hour. Uh -huh. Okay. And tomorrow? Okay. Do you have classes uh, tomorrow, tomorrow? Tomorrow, Friday. Ah, uh, another class at uh, at five o'clock. Five to five to eight. Okay, from five to eight. From five to eight. Okay, yeah, so uh, you say, uh, tomorrow I am having classes from 5 to 8. Tomorrow I having classes, class. Mm -hmm. Classes, because it's many classes, not only one hour. You have three. Okay, and classes are... From 5? From 5 at 8 o'clock, yes. Okay, remember when you give a specific periods of time, you say from 5 to 8. From okay. 5 to 8. From uh -huh. country. Excellent. Very good. And last but not least, Sandra Yasmin, what are you doing these days? Okay. Uh, from the Monday to Friday, almost always, I'm preparing a university homework. Oh. Uh, Saturday, this Saturday, I'm going to party with my friends, uh -huh. probably. 
And Sunday, maybe I'm going to rest in my house. Hey, how nice. Where is the party? <laughs> <laughs> Invite us. Tunkovich. <laughs> Adel Tunkovich. Excuse me. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> how nice. Enjoy. We're going to be at the beach, so maybe we are going to see you there. <laughs> <laughs> in the in the trip that. yes we're going to see you there so thank you very much everybody for uh, sharing the different activities that you are going to do during these days remember that you can use ing forms or that you can use going to in order to express near future arrangements that you are going to have so um this is what what was the homework we checked it before so today, as the topic is uh, talking on the phone and assigning messages, we have here, I, I got like different phrases that you can use at the moment of answering the phone or at the moment of answering um, someone who is talking on a place. So I have like different phrases that we can use. For example, when you say, when you answer the phone, you have to say, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, right? It's not like in Spanish that we say, hello. And you don't say anything. You say like, hello. And you just don't answer. You say like, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, right? In, in English, it's very polite. When you answer the phone, you can say like, um, good morning. Yes, can I help you? Right? And then the person says like, oh, hi, this is uh, Nati speaking. Right? When you say this is, you give your name, mm -hmm. Nati speaking. You say like, hi, it's uh, Linda there. Is it like, is Linda there? You can have the two questions. You can say hello first. Hi, it's Linda there. It's like, está Linda? Ay, yo sí. It's Linda there, you say. Uh, could I speak to Carlos Antonio, please? Right, do you remember those days when you used to call the house of your crush, your girlfriend, now wife or husband? It's like, <clears throat> Uh, está, está Natalie. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> and they never pass the call on the person that you used to call. Ah, la vida sin identificadores de llamadas. Could I speak to Carlos Antonio, please? I am in the post office at the moment, you say. And I just need it, right? If you are not in your house or if you are busy, you say, I am uh, at the bank right now. I am uh, at the hospital right now. I am doing this right now at the moment. Say like right now. And I just need it. And then you can just ask for the message. I am trying to contact. If you are calling, for example, uh, to an office. So like, hello, good morning. This is Natalie Flores. I'm trying to contact Boris Rodriguez. Is he there? Right? And then it's like, ah, oh, Mr. Boris. Let me look for him. And then you start listening to the music while they look for Boris. Hello, George's phone. This is very common when you have these messages, when you just, they answer automatically. So like, hello, George's phone. I am very busy right now but you can leave a message, right? When you don't know who is calling, you say, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Right, ¿Quién and then, ¿quién, es? ¿Quién habla? Uh -huh. ¿A dónde hablo? Sí. ¿Quién habla? Okay. Thank you for calling. You say, this is very common on enterprises or offices. It's so like, thank you for calling, Ingres Corporativo. This is Natalie, can I help you? Mm -hmm. And then you give the message, right? Can I leave a message, please? Can I leave a message, please? It's like, ¿puedo dejarle un mensaje? If the person is not there, can I leave a message, please? Uh, the next one, for example, uh, when you are trying to make a reservation in a hotel, in a restaurant, at the airport, etc., is it like, hello, this is Nati speaking. I would like to make a reservation, please. And it's like, okay, yes, please give me your identification number, etc., etc., etc. And when the person is talking or is talking on the phone and you don't understand what the person said, sorry, I didn't catch that. It's like, no le entendí. Or no le escuché bien, right? I didn't catch that. I, can, I can hear you very well. So, uh, good, good question. When you say like, I didn't catch that, it doesn't mean that you catch it, right? With your hands. No, 
I didn't catch it. Like, no, no le agarré. No entendí. I Going can to take notes about yes. it. Yeah, I didn't catch that. <laughs> I can, I can hear you very well, you say. Mr. Oscar, do you have a question? Yes? Yeah, uh, the, the, the kind of language uh, is properly for to the office. Uh, uh, tengo la idea de que es un lenguaje bien propio de, de, de una oficina. O sea, me... Um, um, me llama la atención, uh, I think about this, uh, for example, sorry, I didn't catch that. Uh, I can say the other way, uh, the other form, the other way or the other, the other form? Uh, in the other way, you can say. On the other way, is, uh, for example, sorry, uh, I understand. Uh, I didn't understand. I didn't understand. I can say that. For you, can, you can say that and it's the same meaning, right? If you say, no, I didn't catch that. It's like, no le entendí nada. But if you say, uh -huh. I didn't understand, it's like you listened, but you didn't get the message. So that's the difference. If you say, I didn't catch that, uh, maybe the message was like, Ch -ch -ch -ch. so, and it's difficult. But if you mm -hmm. tell me, sorry, I didn't understand. Es que yo le di el mensaje y el mensaje no fue captado. Porque le dije, fíjese que sí, quiero tres morados, tres azules, tres celestes, no, 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 I didn't understand. Okay. But if, can you repeat? <laughs> uh -huh, can, you, can you repeat, please? I didn't understand. Mm -hmm. But imagine Como that. Quien dice, no escuché bien. Ajá, no escuché listen. bien. No escuché bien, sería, I, I, I didn't catch that. I didn't, okay. no, if you be careful, because if you say, I didn't listen, it's like if you okay. are like, I didn't listen, okay. Uh -huh. uh, sorry, I didn't listen. I didn't <laughs> ah, listen. So, ah, ah, that's, that's a good example. I got right? it, I got uh -huh. it, I got it. And, and the person is going to be like, ah, ve que bonito. Y yo hablando y usted no me oyó. So you have to be very careful because in English, a little word can make a difference, right? If I tell you, I can hear you very well because maybe you are speaking too uh, low, too loud in, I cannot actually get your message, right? But if I say, no, I didn't listen, repeat, right? Okay. It, it, is, it is different. Um, also, as you are saying, good morning, when you answer the phone, you say, bye-bye, take care, talk to you soon, I speak to you again soon, right? For you to close the call. Here in, in El Salvador, it's like, ah, uh -huh, bye, chivo. And, and they just cut the call and you're like, me colgó. Right in the middle, it's so bad. I mean, that it's so, uh, it's so bad. Don't do that. I mean, please, in the love of God, don't do that. Uh, so bye bye. Talk to you soon. Speak to you again. Take care. It was a pleasure. Right. Those are ways to finish a, a phone call. Um, just a minute. If you are busy and uh, you will need to do something and then to go back to the call, say, just a minute, wait a minute. And then when you come back, you say, I am sorry to keep you waiting. Lamento haberla hecho esperar. English is a very polite language. I really like that it is very polite. Es un lenguaje sumamente amable donde la gente es amable. A veces ya cuando tienen una confianza bien grande, tal vez ya no son tan amables al momento de platicar así entre amigos y todo porque ya tenemos confianza. It's like in, like in Spanish, right? Uh, for example, if you see each other for the first time, you are not going to be like, Hey, ¿qué onda? Pues, ¿qué, qué, 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 qué? So like, oh, hola, ¿qué tal? Buenos días, amigos. ¿Cómo están? ¿Qué gusto? Right? It's the same. And in English, it's the same. Uh, hold on, please. I will put you through. Hold on, please. It's like, espéreme un segundo. O permítame. Hold on, please. I will put you through. It's like when you pass a call. So, ahorita se lo paso. Ahorita la paso la llamada. Okay, wait a moment, please. And the last one is, how can I help you? So I wanted to show you this uh, uh, mini collection of vocabulary because maybe in life later on, you are going to use it. And imagine if you have to answer a phone call in English. It's like, good morning, this is Natty speaking. Who am I talking to? Uh -huh. ¿Quién me va a llamar? Veamos. Janet, Janira me va a llamar. 
<clears throat> I'm going to answer the phone. Good morning. This is Nati speaking. Who is there? Hi, I'm Janet Rodriguez. Oh, Janet, uh, could I speak to Mr. Carlos Antonio, please? Uh, hold on me, please. I'll put your throat. Thank you. Hello, Carlos Antonio. This is Nati here. Hello, uh, this is uh, Carlos Polanco. How are you? I am doing good. I am trying to contact Nubia. Do you know if she's working? Uh, yes, wait a minute. I called you. Uh, I, I, will, you I will pass the call. I, I will. I will see the call. Yes. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Hello, Nubia. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. I would like uh, to make to make a reservation for your class. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Aha, you sorry, can say I didn't catch that. Very good. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> I didn't catch that. Yes. I didn't catch that. Uh, okay, okay. Thank you, Nubia. I am going to, to reserve a class with Mr. Oscar. Can you send the phone call to Mr. Oscar? Hold on, please. I put you throat. Thank you. I put your throat. Uh, good evening, Mr. Oscar Hernandez. Good evening. This is Nati here. I would like to make a reservation for your class. I, I'm sorry, uh, Nati. Uh, I didn't catch that. Repeat, please. Um, you know, I know that you teach business classes. Oh, and yes. I want to make a reservation for your class on Monday. Is there any space available? Uh, wait a minute, please. Wait a minute. Let me see my, my agenda. Seria my... Aha, my agenda. Good. My, good. Agenda, my agenda. My agenda. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, that's probably uh, I can receive your class. Um, what well, hour is your Okay. Uh, uh, availability. Availability. Ah, what hour? very good. <laughs> what hour? Uh, around uh, 7 p.m. Okay, okay. It, it, that's good. Uh, what's more? What can okay. I say? That's good. Uh, no, that's good. Okay, thank you very much. I am going to call my friend Gerardo to see if he can go with me. Thank you, Oscar. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> Hello, Gerardo. How are you? Hi, teacher. Uh, I, do. I am doing good. You know, uh, I am inviting you to a class on Monday. It's going to be uh, about business. Monday. Uh, sorry, I have a meeting at the same time. Um. Well, so it's going to be some other time. Well, I am going to go to the class by myself. So I speak to you again okay. soon, Gerardo. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Ah, you survived to the phone call. <laughs> you were like, ya, ya, ya me va a hablar a mí, me va a hablar a mí. <laughs> you see, that's good. And that's that's how you make it. You see? Ninguno se me murió contestando la llamada, ¿verdad? Aquí. Casi. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I have a very short example here about a secretary and Mr. Kale. And she's talking, uh, well, he is talking on the phone and she says, good morning, Parker Industries. And everybody answers, please. Hello, may I speak Hello. to Mrs. Graham, please? Graham, please. Um, I am sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that Gale, G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right, uh -huh. all right. Please tell her our, our meeting uh, is on Friday at 2.30. Okay, just give me one second. I need a paper. <clears throat> Sorry, it's, the meeting is? The meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday 2.30. Okay, yeah. uh, okay, Friday 2.30. And, and could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-55-54031. Uh, 
646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale, I will give Mrs. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Hey, you see, everybody answered and only poor Janita was there. <laughs> okay, now everybody open the microphone and only Janita can turn off her microphone. Everybody else turn on their microphones and you are going to answer my phone call. Go ahead. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, 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 I'm very sorry. She's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, yes please. please. Mr. Mr. Kale. Excuse me, Mr. Kale. Is that Gail? G A L E? No, no. Oh, it's Gail. It's Gail. Okay. Ah, okay. All right. Please tell her our meeting on Friday at our meeting at 2 2 at 2 30. Okay, Friday at 2 30. Uh, and could you ask, ask her to call me, 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 I didn't catch that. There was a lot of noise yeah. and everything. You say uh, 645 555 4031. Yes, Mr. K, I will give uh, Mrs. Graham the message. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 bye bye. Okay, so you see. Thank you, Janet. Now you can open your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the way that's the way you answer uh, messages on the phone. Important details that you mentioned, so like, please tell her, right? Please tell her when you are going to leave a message. And for sure, you say, and could you ask her to call me back? Le podría decir que me llame, right? Please tell her. It's like, por favor, dígale. Okay, please tell her that. Uh, I am going to go to her house. Please tell her that the meeting is tomorrow. Please tell her that uh, I am outside of the house and I don't have a key. Uh, could you ask her please to bring me the key? So I like, can I take a message? When you say, can I take a message? It's like, ¿puedo tomar un mensaje? Yes, please, you say. And then you give the message, right? So in a very short way, we're going to check on the explanation of this one. I know that you have seen it before. So we're going to check on this one in a very, very quick way. Yeah. Yo sé que la conocen. La conocen y la han visto. Okay. She's so. the Indian. <laughs> oh, Carl Hernandez, yes. Uh, I don't have the, the, I don't understand the question, but my comment, um, is can I um, can I speak uh, with other person about the um, conversation to the office? Uh, for example, with Nubia, we can uh, ah, repeat the, the case. Do you, you want to to the, practice the call, it? The call, the the phone call. The phone call. You want to repeat the conversation? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the miss miss. I don't know where is. Uh, Yo solo sé que es la chica que sale dando las con respecto a la señora que aparece ahí sé que aparece no sé cuál era la pregunta que dijo pero pero bueno me interesa esto en este momento eh, eh, can I practice with my partner uh, Nubia o Carlos o Miguel with other okay, person okay 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 por petición Nubia Nubia okay. en Oscar Hernández Nubia you are the secretary go ahead Uh, uh, this this uh, this image. Yeah. Good morning. You are what? the secretary. You are the secretary, oh, and Mr. Yes, yes. Mr. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. Industries. Okay. Hello. May I speak to Miss Graham, please? I'm sorry. She's not in.
Can I take a, mes a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Uh, is that uh, J uh, A L E? No, no, it's K A L L E. Kale. Right. Uh, please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2 30. Or 2 and 30. Only 2 30. 30. Okay. 2 30. Okay. Friday I, at 2 30. Yes, and could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646 555 646-555-4031. Uh, yes, Mr. K. I will give. I will give Mrs. Graham. Uh, I'll, I'll give Mr. Graham the message. Message. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Very, very, muy amable, que digo. very kind. Very kind. Very kind. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Bye-bye. Hey, good. Okay. Remember, when you are giving a telephone number, you say O, oh, no zero. O. Oh. No, es, no zero. E esa era una pregunta que no quería dejar de hacerla. Eh, yo he escuchado que dicen zero, pero en este caso, entonces, es for O. Oh. O. Oh. For O. It's O. O. O, casi como... O. O. Como O. Oh. Ah, ok. Ok. Oh. Five, 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 four. Oh, three, three, one. three, one. Yes. Only okay. for mathematic things, you say zero. Ah, very good. Yeah. For telephone yes. numbers and for specific numbers like this, you say zero. Zero. Okay. okay. In, in mathematics, you say, zero? You say uh, sorry, uh, for telephone numbers, you say O, oh, and for mathematics oh. and things, you say zero. Very good. Thank you. Good. In, in address, in address. In addresses, yeah. You say O. Oh. Four or one, it's four oh six. You say you also use o. Oh. oh, okay. So we're going to go over the video in a very quick way uh, about tell and ask. That is the topic that I just mentioned in the conversation. Let's see. Let's go video. Okay. Ahí están los niños. Me están viendo. Come on. Funciona. Don't do that in front of the kids. Okay. You see. Hmm. Okay, it's loading, it's loading. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so. At the office. <laughs> yeah. And now a few Oh, at the that office, that it that happens that with the that with the printer, uh, with the printer and the projector. Okay, forget it. With um, <laughs> I am going to do it. Um, uh, wait, wait. Statements with uh, tell and ask. Remember, when you use statements with tell and ask, you use sentences like this ones. Uh, the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? With requests. Call me this afternoon. The message that you are going to listen is, please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Will you ask him to call me this afternoon? This is the way you use these statements with uh, messages and also with requests. Now go with your classmates and practice assigning a message using the two structures right here. You can leave the message on the chat. <laughs> you do it. The hey, same <laughs> you see, hey, bravo. Yeah. Hey, yes. Yeah. English <laughs> in, in, in corporativo. Here, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> for the next <laughs> video. <laughs> okay, so the video didn't work, but I did my best explaining the, the grammar about it. So you have two forms, the statements and the requests. With the statements, you say, please tell her that the meeting is on Friday, that, the, that we're going to go here, that we're going to call her, that we're going to go to her house, right? You are telling 
the person something specific, a phrase in a specific, right? And for the other one, we say a request, estamos pidiendo que haga algo la otra persona. We say, please ask him to call me. Please ask him to come to my house. Please ask him to pay me the money, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is the most please. difficult that is the most difficult request it's like uh, please ask him to give me the money it has been like seven months that's a request in the statements solo un mensaje simple eh, la reunión es el sábado vamos a llegar más tarde ya voy en camino right those are just statements but if you want the other person to do something for you that is a request so imagine that I call Janira and I am looking for Nubia and, and Nubia is not there. And I say like, okay, please ask her to call me, right? You cannot say, please ask him because him is for boys. Her is for girls. So that is the, these are the two forms that you can use. With the statements, just give a message. And with requests, you ask the person to do something for you. Okay, so that's the main difference. About these ones, if I tell you, for example, the movie is at seven, is it a statement or a request? Statement. A statement, statement. right? Statement. Because it's like, oh, okay, tell Joel that the movie is at seven. But if I say, tell Joel that I am going to be at the movies, tell that's him to request. meet me there, that's a request. That's request. But number two, Pick me up at home around four. Request. It's a request, request. right? Request. It's a request. Okay. Request. ¿Qué pasa si no le dan ese mensaje a Mitch? No se le va. Ya. Yeah. Ahí va a estar usted. Um, no waiting. Lo <laughs> no lo lleva, right? Uh, so. What about uh, Eva? The concert on Saturday is canceled. Request. Request. Statement. 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 It's a statement, statement. right? Because, I mean, it's like, yeah, yeah, the concert is canceled. Yeah. Just that. And imagine Eva if Eva doesn't receive the message. What is it going to happen? It was a trauma. <laughs> right? She's going to be near Flor, Flor Blanca, right? A que hora salen los temerarios. <laughs> no, the concert was canceled. Sorry. Right? Go to your house because of the pandemic. No more concerts, right? What about this one? Bring the tickets for the hockey game tonight. Request. A request. A request. A request. A request. It's a request. A request. And what happens is if Jim doesn't bring the tickets. And the machine. What is it going to happen if Jim doesn't bring the tickets? Uh, statement. Uh, no, 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 it's a request. No, it's a request. Uh -huh. no, okay. I am telling you, okay? ¿Qué pasa entonces si Jim no lleva los tickets? You don't enter. Yeah, you don't enter. Don't enter, don't enter. You, do, you don't enter if you don't have tickets. You don't yeah. enter. Request. It's a request. It's an order. Please bring the tickets, sí, right? Sí, sí. What about number five? The museum me, opens at 10. Oh, don't worry. Statement. It's a statement, statement. It's a statement yeah. right? Yes. It's a statement. And what about the last one? Meet us in front of the cafeteria at 12.15. Statement. Request. It's a request to say, meet us. Request. Okay, juntate con nosotros. Meet, right. meet us in front of the cafeteria at 12.15. So, uh, would you ask, or would you, uh, yeah, in this case, as you have here, for example, if you have a request, ask. <coughs> if you have a, a statement, tell. Okay? Sure. So, for number two, you said that it was... Um, Request. So you say, would you ask Mitch to pick me up at mm. home around four? Please tell Eva that the concert on Saturday is canceled. Would you ask Jim to bring the tickets for the hockey game tonight? Would you tell Anne the museum opens at 10? 
And please ask Jerry to meet us in front of the cafeteria, okay? Keep that in mind. If you have a request, ask. And if you have a statement, tell. Good. Good. Let's go it's here. Pretty. Okay. Um, I have here two messages for Mr. Alvarez. And the, the thing is, call Mrs. James as soon as possible. Can you give me the sentence? For mm -hmm. Mr. Alvarez, call Mrs. James as soon as possible. Hi, it's, Mrs. It, it, it's Mr. Mr. Alvarez. Please tell to Mr. James to call me, please. Okay, remember it's a request. You use ask. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You say, would you ask Mr. Alvarez oh. to call me to call. as soon as possible? Okay. And what about Dr. James? Dr. James, <coughs> right? The fax machine is ready. Pick it up this afternoon. Could you tell? You tell. Hey, could you tell the, 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 the Dr. James, James. That? The, the Dr. James? Yeah. That the, the new fax machine, fax machine is ready. You got it. Okay. Yep. Pick it up this afternoon. Pick it up this Pick afternoon. afternoon. Pick, Pick In this up. case, you can say, Will you tell Dr. James that the new Ooh. fax machine is ready? He's like, Yes, yes, I will do it. Could you ask him to pick it up this afternoon? Okay, so you Pick can combine, up. right? To pick it up is like uh, recogerla, go and get it. Okay. So just to land up in the class, chun, chun, chun. Um, this one is the reading that we had in the, in the platform. Many of you were having difficulties with this on vacation and it's about cell phone etiquette, okay? We're going to talk about this on Monday. So please, I need you to bring your best experience or your worst experience using the cell phone in public, okay? So that it's going to be for Monday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try to read a little bit on the reading again, mm -hmm. and we're going to use it to make just a couple of questions in the class, okay? okay. So that is going to be for Monday. My God, time flies when you're having fun. I am going to, okay, speak teacher. To, I am going to see you on Monday. Have a beautiful weekend. And finish the platform because on Monday we are going to have only uh, a check on the evaluation and everything has to be done. Okay. You, have a beautiful night okay. and I'm going to see you on Monday. Take good care of yourself. Bye. 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 Bye.